Is wildlife a favorite topic of yours? Just curious. Well, let's begin. The black grouse, northern black grouse, Eurasian black grouse, black game, or blackcock, is a large game bird in the grouse family. It is a sedentary species, spanning across the Palearctic in moorland and steppe habitat when breeding, often near wooded areas. They will spend the winter perched in dense forests, feeding almost exclusively on the needles of conifers. The black grouse is one of two species of grouse in the genus Lyrurus, the other being the lesser-known Caucasian grouse. The female is grayish-brown and has a cackling or warbling call. She takes all responsibility for nesting and caring for the chicks, as typical with most Galliformes. The cock's fancy plumage is predominantly black with deep blue hues on his neck and back, which contrasts the white wing line and undertail coverts, as well as red bare skin above each eye. On the other hand, the hen is much drabber and cryptically colored to blend in easily with the dense undergrowth, especially when nesting. The black grouse, along with the Caucasian grouse, has long outer recrises that curl outward and arranged in a way it resembles the frame of a Greek lyre, hence the genus name, Lyrurus. Black grouse have a very distinctive and well-recorded courtship ritual. Every dawn in the spring, male grouse begin competition with other males in hopes of attracting a hen to mate with. They will display to signal their territory and vigor by fanning out their elaborate lyre-shaped tails and inflating their necks on designated open ground called a lek. Their song consists of a long, dove-like bubbling coo or murmur. hens visiting the lek decide the overall healthiest male, though not all females may arrive at every lek. When mated successfully, she will fly away from the site to a suitable nesting site, with an abundance of dense shrub or tall vegetation, often located at a tree base in between roots, under low branches, beside a boulder. A dent is scraped out on the dirt floor and cushioned with grasses, sticks, leaves, and feathers. About 6 to 11 pale buff eggs speckled brown are then laid in the nest, incubated for 23 to 28 days. The chicks consume invertebrates, transitioning to more plant matter as they mature. By around 10 to 14 days and so forth, they are capable of short flights. Where their range overlaps in similar biomes of other species, they are capable of hybridizing with the ringneck pheasant, western capercaillie, black-billed capercaillie, Siberian grouse, hazel grouse, and willow ptarmigan. I am glad that you could spend some time for these wonderful animals. Take care, God bless.